this is another uh, black diagram regression technique problem so uh, the entire problem is very simple and uh, this is uh, c you you realize you just shift this summing point to here and club with the existing summing point that's it this problem with will uh, will be solved easily see to do this uh, let's see here see for example from this uh, end see a signal y is coming and from this side a signal x is coming so at this junction the resultant signal will be g3 times x plus g2 time y but if you want to take this block to the right side of the summing point then at the same point you will get the signal like g3 times x times g2 plus g2 times y because this g2 will be shifted to this so this y will be again multiplied with g2 but this additional term is changing the original signal by g2 times that's why you just divide it divide this uh, g3 with g2 by moving this block to right side of the summing point so by doing that the resultant uh, uh, black diagram will be looking like this so now you simply combine these two summing points that is the key thing in this problem so by doing that let's see what happens here if you if you combine these two summing points basically so it looks like this it's look like this so here now these two are basically a parallel path so let's reduce this parallel plugs so it will be g1 plus g3 over g2 and similarly similarly uh, these two blocks will form a feedback loop so this will be giving you g2 over 1 plus g2 and g4 now there will be effectively only two blocks that is one is sorry one is g1 sorry one is g1 plus g3 over g2 and the second one is g2 over 1 plus g2 g4 these two blocks are connected in series and these two are forming a feedback loop with a feedback path gain of h now the entire thing makes sense and it is very easy this is c of s this is r of s now here we go so here it is g1 plus g2 g3 over g2 times g2 1 plus g2 g4 this is the forward path gain plus g1 g2 plus g3 over g2 and g2 times 1 plus g2 g4 multiplied h that's it so it is gone here so here also it is gone so the resultant transfer function looks like this 1 plus g2 g4 plus h times 
G3 plus G1 G2. That's it. In this problem, the key idea is to move that summing point. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel.